In this video, I wanted to explain what the CC method is, and why you should know it if you are going to build a house or a deck, or anything else. CC measurement is a standard used by the construction industry, to save time, and material consumption. If you are building something large like a house or a wall, you need to know how to use it. It's very easy to learn, but many people don't know it exists. I will explain in more detail but it works roughly like this. When you frame a wall as an example, you should not make your own measurement between the studs, instead you should follow a CC standard. CC stands for center to center and is the distance between your studs. In Europe, or rather Sweden, we have three different CC standards which are 30, 45 and 60 centimeters. In the US, a common CC standard is 16 inches. Most of the building materials you buy are adapted to the CC standard, which means that everything fits without having to cut anything, such as wood, plasterboard and insulation and so on. Which in turn means that you save both material and time. I will show a couple of examples, and then how to build according to the CC method. Let's take an exterior wall, like the one I'm building, as an example. If I build with CC60, which is the most used CC standard in Europe, I start with studs from one side, and measure 60 centimeters from back edge to back edge. Because I measured with the CC60, the distance between my studs has specific measurements such as, 60, 120, 180, 240 centimeters and so on. The construction industry has therefore adapted its material for these dimensions. If we are now going to attach a hammer band, I want it to be supported by all the studs even at the joint. I therefore buy timber that is CC adapted, in this case a joist that is 240 centimeters long. As you can see, the joist ends up centered between the first and last stud. The studs are CC 60, or center to center 60 centimeters. But the inside of my studs is exactly 55.5 centimeters. The manufacturers of insulation know this, so the insulation I buy is 55.5 centimeters wide. The insulation bat fits perfectly between my studs, so I only need to cut the height of the last bat, and that's all. On top of the insulation, I want to put a plaster wall. The plasterboard I buy is adapted to CC60, and is 120 centimeters wide. 60 plus 60 is 120, so the plasterboard will fit perfectly on my studs. On the other side of the wall, I want panels for wind protection. These panels are also adapted to CC60 and 120 centimeters wide. On the wind protection, I want studs for the wall panels. I make sure to buy studs that follow the CC60 measurement. In my case, they will be 240 centimeters long, so that the joints end up in the middle of the wall studs. As you can see, I have built an entire wall without hardly having to cut the material. When you master the CC method, you build incredibly fast and save a lot of money. If you watch my other videos when I build, it goes very fast. I have been practicing my measurements for over 25 years, and everything I do has a measurement behind it. Which gives me advantages throughout the build. An experienced carpenter, compensates for everything. We have all the dimensions of the material in our head, and when we lay out our studs for a wall as an example, the material fits perfectly. But for you who are new, you can think like this. Let's say you are going to build a 10 meter long exterior wall. You can lay out your studs CC 60 centimeters, or CC 16 inches directly, by measuring from back edge to back edge. But if you are going to have a plaster board or other board on the wall, the first stud must be moved half the width of the stud. After that, you can measure your CC measurement for the rest of the wall. The CC measurement is laid out on the entire wall, and everything around must adapt, such as doors and windows. If we put a window in the wall we are building, you can do it like this. Follow your CC measurement the entire wall. Lay out the studs for your window, but above and below the window, we follow the CC measure. 
In this way, we do not break the measurement, and the plasterboards and other materials still fit, but with a little modification. This was only for one wall, but the CC rule applies to almost anything you build. If you are wondering how to use the CC method when building a deck, I have a whole video about it on my channel. I hope this short video was helpful, and thanks for watching.